Well, guess what generation of Americans is most likely to fall for online scams? If you said older people, you'd actually be wrong. Our 18 News reporter Nick Dubina spoke with a Google cybersecurity expert who warns that artificial intelligence can make online scams even harder to spot. If you work in a newsroom or any other office, you've probably already received an email reminding you not to click on any scams. This recent report found that Gen Z, people who are born in the late 90s or early 2000s, are three times more likely to fall victim to an online scam than their grandparents. We spoke with a Google cybersecurity expert to find out why. I think it's a matter of exposure. Right. Gen Z is the most literate generation when it comes to the internet, and they also spend the, probably the, the most amount of time online. The field is expanding with gaming, social media, general internet, web browsing, email, phones. It's a fertile ground for, for bad actors to try to take advantage of people. Google cybersecurity expert Michael Sino says Gen Z, the generation that grew up with the internet, is not just more exposed to online scams, the attacks are also getting more sophisticated. Perfect example is phishing emails, right? Not, we block 99% of them, but some still slip through. A long time ago, phishing emails generally were, were pretty amateur, but now they've gotten very sophisticated. They can look very much like the real thing. So for example, one coming from your bank or from a, a online store that you use, it can look almost exactly the same, if not exactly the same. To protect yourself, Sino says you shouldn't use the same password for all of your logins. One breach could compromise all of your accounts. He recommends using a password manager to store unique usernames and passwords for different sites. How does AI factor into all this? Is AI going to make us safer in terms of protecting us? Or is, is it going to open up another window where it becomes even so sophisticated? You know, my grandmother could be calling me via AI, you know, an AI apparition of some kind. And you wouldn't know the difference at all. I feel like AI is the next front in cybersecurity on both both ends of that spectrum. Mm -hmm. Using AI, uh, we heavily use AI to secure people's accounts, to do a number of things at Google. Um, but we are seeing uh, bad actors trying to use leverage AI to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. So again, it's that game of cat and mouse with the attackers. No one is ahead. I would say actually we're probably ahead because we're we're <laughs> we're much. Uh, deeper in the world of AI, uh, but uh, it is definitely going to be a game changer across the board. For more tips on how to protect yourself from online scams and to watch our full interview with Michael Sino, we posted it on our website. That's MyTwinTears.com. In the newsroom, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News.